Green flag, green flag, green flag. Caution, these trucks don't play nice. Hard racing, hard surviving. It's the toughest, grittiest, hard-nosed racing on the planet, and you don't want to miss one second. Warning, objects may be closer than they appear. The 2008 NASCAR Crash from Truck Series all season long. NASCAR on speed, be there. You're an idiot! Get out of the All right, guys, we are here today at Flat Rock, the flat version of Rockingham. It's going to be a great race today. We're going to keep it in TV1 because that is the best camera as we will take you to starting grade. And here we go today. Will we see a lot of caution today? I don't know. But there's Joshua Perry. He takes it on the inside. And he is looking for a great run after a few weeks of stress and not having a great run. But there goes Aaron Mason. He needs a good run. He is second in the stand. He is first in the stand. Sorry about that. And they get up into the wall. Oh, a little bit of contact. But they actually make it. Oh, man. And there's Aaron Mason. But Joshua Perry has taken out the lead. But here comes Aaron Mason on the bottom of the race. He's going to try to get a run. They go up the race track right here. Oh, man. Kyle Sanuski is up there in the top 10. Trying to have a great run. Oh, there's a 42. There's 19. Oh, they get together. Caution's out. Oh, man. The first caution's out on lap two. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> I don't think too much people got too much damage. Let's take you to tough break for Kyle Sanuski. We were looking, we were going to run green flag last, but let's see what happened to Kyle Sanuski as he was running up in the top 10 as soon as that just happened. Let's see what happened. <sighs> well, guys, as we take a look at this, it looks like Ryan Acosta in the 19 just kind of came up and squeezed Kyle. He had nowhere to go, and he just rams right up into the wall, and these guys were keeping it straight. They got together back there. I think that's the 93 of uh, Charles Sanford. New driver making his first start. He got a lot of side damage, though. Not what he was looking for. Taking over a very good ride that Eric Burton won in earlier this season. But there goes Kyle Sanuski getting into problems early here today. He did not want to get into problems here early at this track. It's hard to make it up. Let's see, Let's see what happened here. Again, different angle.
you can see what I'm talking about right there, just pinched up into the wall. And then 93 tried to come down to dodge it. And Trent Dunham, his teammate, did a great job just staying on the brakes, but he didn't knock him in a little bit. Oh, and then Preston Plour got a little bit of it. Cody Lama did a great job. Oh, oh, nine truck hard into the wall. I did not see that. Pichu slammed it into the wall, and he slides. But that's all that pretty much happened. Is there's Noah Hart. Noah Hart got some damage. New driver in the seven. So let's see. Let's see what happened to Noah Hart. He got a little bit rear. I think he got. Yeah, he got rear ended. There's something going on back here as well. They were trying to stop for that, and then he got hit by Seth, and then the nine, and then that's what caused all that going up there. So. If you guys got some damage involved in that, Dylan Pochi doing a great job staying right back there and dodging everything. Well, well, starting starting after the first caution, I'm gonna start showing pit stops since that was a quickie caution. Happened on lap two. Really, nothing really was gonna go on, but uh, we're here now. We'll see if anybody's gonna have to pit the next caution. But anyway, green flag is out, and Aaron Mason is gonna be all over the back of the 60. And there goes Jacob Lawler. And you guys better watch that first corner, but Jacob Lawley's going to get into Aaron Mason, but they actually make it off that corner. Oh, man, the six. And they're actually making it off that corner. Oh, there's a little bit of problem in the back, but they're actually keeping it going. And Joshua Perry has nailed the wall. Like I said, this is a very short, short track, so you'll see a lot of short track tempers and a lot of people getting in the wall. But Aaron Mason comes off the corner, and there he goes, the 60 machine. And I think the caution's out again. Yep. Caution is out again. Oh, we had a pile up. Oh, man. Oh, Preston Plour just. Oh, man. Oh, nine trucks in it. Like I said, pile ups get lower here. This looks like it took out a lot of people. Oh, man. Barney. Oh, my God. This looks like it took out a lot of people here. Oh, man. Well. <laughs> well, let's see what happened, but first, let's see if anybody's going to have to take a pit stop here. It looks like Kyle Sanuski, uh Jane McLeod, he's six right now. Let's see if anybody, it looks like, it doesn't look like anybody else is taking pit stop, but we're going to have to see. I know some people are out of the race from that big one. Jeremy McMurray got some damage. Peachy's got a lot of front damage. He's not going to have a front on his truck. Uh, there's Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears up into the top 10. I haven't talked about him too much. He's looking pretty good here today. There he goes. And there's Joshua Perry. Joshua Perry is trying to dominate here today in today's race. And show what he got going into... Uh, the stretch, which is the last race to make the chase, is next is the next race, which is Charlotte, which pretty much comes after all the All Star events. But uh, I don't think anybody is gonna have to pit this time. I think Barney Ward just the trucks on pit road, which is the eight, the fifteen. I think a couple people already. Yeah, a few people retired. Ryan Juke, Kyle Sanuski wrecked again. Shannon Carroll didn't look like she had too much damage, but she's out. Uh, the nine and Preston Plourd look like we had about one, two, three, four, about five trucks with big damage. So let's see what happened here. Since only the fit, only the two trucks with damage came down, which was Barney Ward and Jeremy McMurray. Let's see what happened here. Well, it looked like it started with Preston Plourd and. Preston got on the outside. He got a great run. They were coming down the pit. Oh, 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 it started up here. Never mind. I thought it started with him. Oh, man, but Preston got lifted off the ground. That was a big ride for him. He got nailed by two cars, two trucks while he was up in the air. But I don't know what was going on here. These guys were just, I don't know what they were doing. But they just got together, and that's caused the problem. Oh man. Oh god. Oh right there the AC gets nailed right there. And then there's Trent Dunham. And there's the 42. There's the 15. 
Well, man, Preston took a hit. They just jumbled up after all that happened. Now let's go with the 20 track again. Shannon Carroll looked like she didn't get too much damage, but, you know, you never t be too sure, but here they go from a spectator angle. And you can see right there, these guys were just sliding up in the wall. James McLeod was the first one to do it, and then they tried to slide even more. And they just got together, and then, you know, that just piles up right there. Oh, man. And then the 24 got lifted by Barney, where he did, like, a corkscrew flip up in the air. And, man, just landed. Tough, tough hit from Preston Floyd. Hope he's okay in that 24 machine. There's Seth up against the wall. I don't know. He's out. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, he just stopped. Seth is having a tough day here today involving the first two incidents. Let's run on board with Kyle Sanuski. Get a view from him. He has just been he has just been hitting he has hit everything but a jet dryer, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, look at that 24 up there. That was crazy. And we'll take it to green. All right, guys. We're under caution again. Oh, it looks like Trent Dunham's around. Uh, just, I missed the green flag. Sorry about that, too. But it looks like Trent Dunham is the only one around. And we got 30... 30 uh, we got 37 cars after that big mess that just happened. Alright, so Joshua Perry leaves, but we're going to have to see if anybody's going to have to pit. As Callum Wells, he is, he is really having a tough day today. He's... I, he's been pitting like this is the second time he's pitted there's Jacob Lawler but the look like the caution came out for Trent Dunham who is 35th on the racetrack Jake Baskinger having some problems as well he was on pit road as well 36 but these guys look like they're coming down pit road and we're gonna take the spectator view on this oh no pit lane one see who comes down let's go to none see who comes off pit lane first i think we got a few drivers staying out if i could see who that is uh, who is who is staying out uh i think i think uh, J uh jacob lawler staying out along with zohar but the first one to come off of pit road well, they haven't come off a of pit road yet, but we have a few drivers staying out. I think we have, I think those are the only, were those the only two that came down? Wait a minute. I think, yeah, those are the only two trucks that came down. I don't understand why Joshua Perry and Aaron Mason, and Aaron Mason beat him off a of pit road, which makes it bad for jo Joshua Perry. So now he's going to be in the back now. A lot of these guys played strategy, so we're gonna have to see what happens here. It's Joshua Perry and Aaron Mason, the top trucks all day, gonna be in the back for the first time. And the leader's gonna be Jacob Lawler. And we will take you to the green flag. Now, this ain't good for uh, Jacob Lawler, who is the leader, but he's gonna have to deal with lap traffic right in front of him, and he's gonna have to watch him going into that turn one side by side. But there he goes, he takes the lead. And Jacob Lawler is trying to dominate. It looks like the leader. Every time he gets the lead here at this track, he takes it off. But he's got two lap checks in front of him. Can Jacob Lawler get it done? There he goes into the corner. They come off the corner. They're going to hit the wall. But these guys are saving it. Oh, man. Oh, we got a little. Oh, caution's already out. We had a spin back there. Caution's out. But there's. Callum Wells, and there goes Jacob Lawler. He's all by himself. There's a battle for the second position. Rookie Mason Wood. Oh, oh, and then get into the, oh, they get into the wall, but they keep it going. And Mason Wood, how about him in the 09? Looking very, very sporty here today. He's got some damage just like everybody else, but he is up into the second position. And Jacob Lawler actually did make it off there into the first five, but 
Oh, Leia Walker is done. Oh, she has a header problem. So it'll be 36 trucks left. See what happened in the 99. Look like Jeff Ellers got together with somebody. Well, guys, we 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 usually don't have this too much, but Cody Llamas just took out James Qualls, who was running in the 13th position. Then, oh my God! Then the five truck got involved. Man, but that was a big hit right there. I don't know what Cody Llamas was doing. And the five truck got big damage in it. And the 99, as well as all these all these trucks are running up in the top 20. And James Cause just got dumped again. Well, he kind of caused it last week, but Cody Llamas. But Cody Llamas this week causes it. Watch this. Yeah, he just like he just rams right in the back of uh, James Qualls and knocks him around, and then the twenty-two goes up into it, and the ninety-nine gets involved. That was a that was a very quick caution, and I don't know why that happened, but the five trucks gonna be torn up after this, and she's out of the race. So that is a tough break for the, for the ten machine. We will take one more look from this, from a spectator view. And you can see right there that Cody Lamas is just going to dump dump him in the corner. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I, I don't know if James Cross hit the brakes too much or what, but that's just short, short track racing. I guess Cody Lamas had to get all he could get, but took out a few good trucks right there. And 21 got a piece of it at the end. But let's ride on board with Jeff Ellers. He's not going to be too happy about this. He's running in the 17th position when this was going on, just trying to survive this race. Oh, he thought he had it missed on the outside, and then the 22 came back up into him. Big hit on the 99. Well, guys, as we are back, the only uh, truck out of the race from that, I forgot to show pit stops again. But I don't really think anybody took pit stops that time. Oh, sorry about that. But there, there we go, back to green flag. And there's Jacob Lawler out in front. But Zohar's going to be all over, the back of Zoh uh, all over the back of Jacob Lawler. But Jacob Lawler gets such a great run off this corner. And there goes a 27. As you guys are single file for once. They all make it out of this corner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a problem. Oh, Joshua Perry is blowing up. And that was a dominant truck all day. He has had more and more problems as he is done. Oh, Jake, uh, James Qualls just hit the wall. We're still green flag, but here comes Connor Breton. Connor Breton trying to go for two in a row, but Jacob Lawler is going to try to hold him off. But here comes, here comes Zohar on the outside, but Jacob Lawler, oh, he's going to hit the wall. And here comes Connor Breed. Connor Breed's going to be all over the back of him. Here comes James McLeod. They're all the way in the back. And Joshua Perry has just blown up. But then they go into the corner. This is this is crazy. And there's Sean Henley up here. And there goes Connor Breed. But he's going to hit the wall. Here comes Sean Henley. Sean Henley's going to get the second position. Sean Henley in the 88. He's making a move. But there's the 51 and the 30 and the 22 is on pit roll. Here comes Sean Henley. Sean Henley, but there's a 16, and there's a 17. He hits the wall, but they're keeping it going. And there's a 16 coming off a of pit road, but there's Sean Henley, and there's James McLeod. They're up here in the top three. Well, they're going to have to pit or what? James, Jacob Lawley will have to pit. So they will. Connor Breton will hold on to the lead. Oh, man. I'm going to have to watch these guys coming down pit road here. They tend to hit that pit barrier. But they make it. And the leader is Connor Breton. Connor Breton is the leader. But there's Ryan Cooper. And there's Brianna Carroll. And there's Aaron Mason. Off the corner. Oh my goodness. And Connor Breton looking to try to win two in a row. As this has been our longest green flag run of about six laps so far. 
But this kind of bring he's gonna have to pit and the points leader will get his first lap lead of the day Aaron Mason looking to try to take this win home And there he is he is Dominant he's had about three or four cautions here today one big one with Preston Floyd flipping over but Man, there's Sean and he is 19th now and there's the I don't know where the second place driver is there's Seth. Seth Cole is in 34th right now. He hasn't gone a lap down yet. There's Aaron Mason. I think Aaron Mason going to have to pit soon. But Sean Henley is the guy I really think that when it cycles back, if he had a good pit stop, he could get right up there and try to win this race. But there goes Brianna Carroll coming off pit road. There's Trent Dunham. They go into the corner. There's Sean Henley. There's Aaron Mason. They come out the corner. Oh, Sean almost hit that wall right there. There's Jake Baskinger. The 11 just hit the wall. Oh, is there's Noah. There's Noah Hart. Noah Hart is up there. I don't know where he's at, but there's the the leaders are gonna have to come down here. But Aaron Mason, he is holding on right now. But Sean Henley's gonna get by him. Sean, if he could get by him, he could do some damage right now. There he goes on the inside. He he's got fresher tires, so he will get by Aaron Mason. Aaron Mason gonna have to come down pit road sooner or later. There's Noah Hart. I don't know where he he's in. Noah Hart. Noah Hart is in the third position. And they just hit the wall in the back back there. Oh, my goodness. They're coming to the end of this thing. They got about a few laps to go. As Sean, Sean, is, Sean is back to second. There's only two trucks on the lead lap. 39 in the 88 if Sean could do it Sean could hold on to this Sean Henley in the 88 has just been having a struggling season but he has been trying to oh 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 two truck Justin Acosta just got together but they're keeping it going but there's Sean Henley but Aaron Mason is gonna have to pit this time if he can he is staying out though but Sean Henley takes lot 32 and Sean Henley it's back on the lead lap, but Aaron Mason, he's going to have to hope that Aaron Mason pits. And Noah Hart, how about him? Where'd he come from? He's up in the third spot. Very tremendous run for this rookie coming coming into the series with no type of experience. And he is just showing off what he got. Oh, oh, Danny Wells spins. Danny Wells is around, but that's not going to cause the caution. No, oh, yes, it does. Who's going to win the race? And Aaron Mason... I don't know where he. Oh, in the 14. He just wrecked. Somebody else blew up. 16. And Aaron Mason has won this race. We had just had a mess in the back. Two cars just. Man, two cars are on smoking. The 60 truck is out. 35 truck. I don't know what's going on. We have we have William Duncan in there. We got somebody else blowing up, but Aaron Mason. It looks like he might win this race here today if he does not have to. Wait a minute, Aaron Mason. We will go back and look at that crash that happened and the spin that with Danny Wells. But we had just had a a huge incident back here. With two trucks smoking. And Callum Wells still gonna try to finish this race. There's Sean. But we had two trucks smoking. We had 35 trucks left. That's gonna be 33 trucks left. So that means that Aaron Mason might have won this race. If he's going to have to pit, this will be big because Sean Henley in that number 88 could win his first race of the season. If Aaron Mason will have to take that truck down the pit lane, and that's what he's hoping. But Aaron Mason, the points leader, this has just been a dynamic season for him. He has just had problem after, he has just had problem after problem the last two weeks. Well, except for Talladega, but 
with a few with a few bent up braces he has had. And I think Callum Wells is coming down. No wait, wait, wait. Yep, Callum Wells in the 22. They're coming down. Callum Wells looks like he's done. Oh no, no, he's not. 22. I don't think he got too much damage out of that. They actually fixed that truck up, but he's 35th. That's what they got him listed. He's just taking some gas. Now you see the two trucks, the 14 and the 16. So we had 36 trucks left, but uh, yeah. And Aaron Mason is looking to come down and get this win here today. And Noah Hart, how about that for the rookie? And how about the other rookies that started today? Uh, Charles Sanford, he uh, got 22nd in uh, the 09 of Mason Wood, 15, pretty good day. But Noah Hart's gonna come out and get this third spot. And Sean tried to come back, he had the best truck, but Aaron Mason played pitch strategy and Aaron Mason will get it done finally at Flat Rock. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go back and see that caution with uh, with uh, Callum Wells and, and a couple other trucks and with Danny Wells and then we will take you to your finishing results. We had green, we had a long green flag run going there. Had, we had some green flag run during the race but had a few cautions but uh. So, we will take you to that caution. Well, guys, these guys were racing hard back here. They were racing hard for 30th, so you can see how important each point is. Both these guys were damaged. There's Callum Wells. He was minding his business. And you'll see what happens to him. But looks like right there. Oh, man. Trent Dunham just... Got shot in the wall, and the same thing that happened. Looked like he wasn't going to get hit too bad. And then Callum Wells had it missed. I don't know what he was doing. He just rammed right into the side. If he would have had that miss. Oh, oh, and then Jake Jake Bassinger came in. And then how did Sean miss that? Sean just died everything. And then there was the leaders coming into this. Aaron Mason, that could have been his. Oh, man, he Noah Hart, too. Came so close to their dreams. Thrashed right there. Well, let's take another look with uh, William Duncan. Oh, and somebody, did somebody ram in the back of a J Oh, no. Oh, Ryan Cooper got a piece of it. There you go, right here. Take another look at this from... Uh, TV2. You can see what I'm saying right there. William Duncan tried to race hard with uh, the one, but yeah, put up, put the one up in the wall, and then he tried to clear him, but just wasn't enough room. And then right there, Callum Wells just lifted him. I don't know what that was about. Callum Wells had that missed. And then watch the 16. Oh! Just ends the miserable day that most of you guys were having. And then Sean, like, somehow dodges that. I don't know how he dodged that one. And there's the 39 of Aaron Mason and Noah Hart. Well, that's why I'm bored with Jake Baskinger and see what he's seen. This race could have ended pretty good with 36 trucks, but I guess not. He just ran right in the back of the 98. Just nowhere to go whatsoever. And Sean did a tremendous job missing that. And uh, we will take you to the results. Well, guys, here's the incident with Danny before we take you to the results. He gets into the wall. He got a little bit of the wall, and then he got loose. And then 
Matthew McMurray just turns him down the racetrack right there. That ruined his chance of having a top uh, 15. Yeah, he could have had a top 15 right there. But it ruined it. That ruined it. And we'll take another look at that. Yeah, he just got in the wall and there was nothing he could do about it. And uh, Matthew McMurray just clipped him and turned him down the racetrack. And uh, right when right when that last caution came out and Danny couldn't do too much about it. And he had a great truck here today. Outran his brother tremendously and that will not help, help him in the points too much. But he finished 21st, but still he had a way better truck than that. How about Randy Carboner? Ran pretty decent all day. Let's take it to green. Uh, let's not green. Let's take it to results. Well, congrats to uh, Aaron Mason and Sean Henley for, you know, being the only two on the lead lap. We had five uh, cautions today. It looked like we were only gonna have three, but you know, short track. What do you expect? Noah Hart, Rihanna Carroll. Brianna Carroll got fourth. That is a that is a statement for her. That's like her best finish of the season. Justin Acosta, fifth. He's really turning it around with good runs. He had a good run. Uh, at Tyler Dega, I believe. Not to, yeah, Tyler Dega. I think it was. There's Matthew McMurray, another good run. Dougie Shears, eighth. Good run for him. Jacob Lawler had the truck to beat. But just had to pit late in uh, the 51. The 51 will finish 10th today. Here's Jeremy McMurray. He comes out of nowhere and gets 11th place. That is the second week in a row he comes out of nowhere and gets a good finish. Starting way in the back. And Dylan Pote, where'd he come from? He didn't talk about him too much. But like I said, he dodged the wrecks. Didn't have two 12th place truck. But he got right up there and got what he needed to get done. Xavier Livingston, James McLeod was up there, but like I said, he uh he smacked the wall and it kind of sent him back. And uh, Xavier Livingston, but uh, although great run for James McLeod and Dylan Pote, that really moved them up. Mason Wood, another great run by Connor Breeden. Looked like he was going to win again, but had to pick Cody Lamas and James Qualls are not going to be uh, exchanging too much words. Might be a rivalry between them. Matt Wells somehow gets up in the 18th. He dies to Rex. Zohar, 19. Randy Carpenter, top day for him, top 20. Danny Wells, 21st, should have been up in the top 10. Great run for rookie Charles Sanford. Ryan Acosta, James Qualls, Max Skinner, Barney Ward, Justin Perry, Jeff Ellers, Richard Johnson, Trent Dunham. And uh, Seth Cole, Callum Wells. And um, Colin was just another bad run again. And there was 33 cars running because Peter Saviano, but William Duncan, Jake Baskin, and Joshua Perry had uh, engine troubles. So it really took him out of play. Uh, Leo Walker, Ryan Juke, Kyle Sanuski, Shannon Carroll, Pichu Walker, and Preston Plourd were involved in that big wreck with Preston Plourd. Kyle Sanuski's day went sour when he uh, brought out the first caution, spinning out lap two. But uh, we will see you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to show the point standings. Where am I doing? <laughs> but Aaron Mason, guess how much Guess how much he's over Zohar. He's 134. Ryan Duke is third in points now. He's only got one. Well, no, wait. Barney Ward is fourth in points now. He he had a decent finish, I believe. And there's Callum Wells now fifth in points. And Jeff Ellers, Connor Breen seventh in points. Danny Wells after not uh, finishing too too great, he will actually be eighth in points. Justin Acosta now up in the ninth in points. And how about this? Cody Lamas is tenth in points now. He could lock himself in being up in the top ten, and the champ could go for two in a row. 
James Qualls outside the top 10 now. It's really going to hurt him now at his chances because he does not have a win. He really needs to get one because the top, since we don't have a driver with two wins in the top 20, it'll be the first two drivers up highest in points with one win outside the top 10. And that would be, that would be Dylan Pote and Justin Perry already. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Pichu Walker and Joshua Perry will be the other ones. And Jacob Lawler and Sean Henley, after these good runs, he has fi found himself trying to get a spot. If he would have got a win, that would have really helped him at trying to make the chase. But one more spot, and we'll see who, one more race, and we'll see who gets locked in after Charlotte. So, the next race. And there's Ryan Cooper, there's Matthew McMurray falling out of the top 20. Richard Johnson can make it. He's in the top 20. There's 14 drives that can make it. 10 locked in. The top two with the most wins or whatever. That's top. Uh, that's outside the top 20. And from that, from that race I do, well, top two and that will be the last 13th or 14th spot. But as we go down, there's Trent Dunham. There's Alex Taylor. There's Seth Cole. There's Kyle Sanuski dropping like a rock in points. There's uh, Max Skinner is finally up in the to the top 42. Ryan Acosta is getting there. Randy Carpenter is not even there yet. And there's all the new guys. So we'll see you next week at uh, next week at Charlotte.